In this series of videos, I'm going to show you guys how to make the platforms, rails, and overall animations for the viral marble videos that have been going around in TikTok. So you can give them your own spin, maybe have the specific objects that you want on the sides to make them different and special and make them stand out. So we are going to start by making the initial platform where the ball is going to be bouncing on. And so what we're going to do is go to front view, select the initial cube we have, and scale it down the set to the width that we want and then scale it in the X and once you have a shape that you more or less like go to front view add a base year curve rotate it 90 degrees in the X make it flat by going to edit mode this guy moving it here to the center and then extrude it and put the point about here and do the same on the other side. Extrude about a third of the way. Then select the edges and make it smooth enough to whatever shape you want your metal to be. So something like that. And then the same thing on the other side. So about that. Nice. So now we have this curve that goes into our our bar. So now I go to front view again. Add cylinder. 16, rotate it 90 degrees on the Y, scale it down in the set and the Y, scale control X, about that, move it down to about where it should go, ah, that's nice, shade smooth, and then scale it in the X wide enough, maybe like that for now, now, now go to modifiers, add modifier, and you're going to go into curve, curve, select your curve, so we have like this, so all we have to do is go to front view and within here we have to add loop cuts for this to work, control R, add loop cuts, you can see in the bottom, so add about 30, just where they go, and now extra also work, same thing, right? And now what we can do is we can move it if we click X along our curve until it's about even. You can even scale it a bit more now for it to go out or for not scale it so much. There we go. So now we have this part. So now all we have to do is add the little parts on the top. So what we're going to do is, again, front view, add. We're going to add a circle. Move it up a bit so you can see it. Go to top view. Scale it down. Move it on top of the circle so you can see more or less how big you want it. So still smaller, smaller, smaller. Maybe like that. And then go to edit mode. Click F to create a face. So now you have a face. Go closer to it. Here you can see it. And add them all again, extrude, set, let's say that much, and then control B to bevel those edges and add cuts. There we go. Now shade smoothed, and now we're just gonna move it down. So G set. So now just duplicate it and then move it a bit down because it's not fully straight. So there we have it. Now we're gonna add materials to it. So I just go so go to material mode and just select the main thing. New material. Call it, I don't know, platform or something. I'm worried gonna go with a red for now. So we're gonna add a material for this. But before we do that, just select everything and select the bar at the end and just go control P, object keeps transform. So that all those stay together. Now select this bar. Make a material that's called metal. So we're gonna go fully metallic right here. No roughness. And then just select these guys and add the same material. So metal. And there we have our platform. So just go here, new collection, platform, model, and add all our stuff in there. And there you have it guys, that's how we make our platform, there's the first step 
And if you want to see how we make the rails, click on this video right here.